All right, so I'm about to watch the Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore pitch meeting. I have a movie review. You can check out my movie review where I give you all my thoughts on this movie. I think I liked it more than most people, but it is what it is. I also want to point out that the thumbnail for this video is hilarious. Now, let's check this out. One, two, three. So, you have a new Fantastic Beasts movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. Well, alright, so what's going on with, uh... What's his name? Uh, Nugget Scaffolding. Newt Scamander. Yeah, I don't care. Well, at the beginning of the movie, he's gonna help it. this magical creature. First off, you gotta put some respect on my boy Newt Scamander, okay? You don't get to come in and diss him like that. Because he's a really cool character, and he's a Hufflepuff. Like, a very other cool person I know. Back to you, Ryan. Called a Chilin give birth. Okay. But then Credence and some other Grindelwald followers pop out and kill the mother and steal the baby and give it to Grindelwald, who slits Ezra's its throat. Oh man. my god. Yeah, hope little kids don't come see this one because it's gonna be brutal. <laughs> oh boy, you've got some issues, I think. So what's up with this <laughs> animal? Why did they want it anyway? Well, this freaking little baby deer looking thing could see inside people's souls, and sometimes they use it in wizard elections, and also it can see the future a bit. They use little magical baby deers in their political system yeah they do because we kind of have no choice but to have a fantastic beast involved in the story somehow that's a good point we kind of wrote ourselves into a corner with these titles so anyway <laughs> turns out the mama deer actually had twins and newt manages to save the other baby oh very sweet why did grindelwald kill the other one though well he does some dark magic stuff with it and now he can kind of see the future oh and also he brings it back to life and manipulates it so it'll choose him during the elections of the next big head wizard or whatever isn't he a wanted criminal he is yeah mm. but he gets some politicians to say that he's not a wanted criminal anymore and that means he can be a candidate immediately yeah i feel like the wizarding political system's kind of nonsensical yeah i mean please don't think about it too much <laughs> oh okay although a bunch of the movie revolves around it what so anyway dumbledore wants to stop grindelwald but they have that blood <laughs> pack thing where they can't even think about attacking each other wow so what do they do they think of elaborate ways of attacking each other i guess that makes sense but since grindelwald can see the future the good guys have to go on almost nonsensical adventures just kind of a string of things happening for a while what do you mean they need to make their plan so confusing and hard to follow that Nobody grindelwald knows. won't know what's going on that kind of sounds like you're preemptively making excuses for your own storytelling nope it's to confuse grindelwald oh all right so what kind of stuff do they get up to oh well dumbledore's gonna send this one guy yusuf to go spy on grindelwald oh boy i bet that's gonna mess with grindelwald's plans you know it sir later in the movie yusuf's gonna knock like three guys over ah so you know mission accomplished i guess yeah that doesn't sound super impactful to be honest yeah i guess it's not but we're gonna do it anyway well okay then oh and also dumbledore's gonna be like hey that muggle jacob he's such a good guy let's get him on the team let's give him a wand why does he do that so jacob <laughs> could have a wand in the movie trailer and no other reason oh he can't actually Pretty use much. it no i mean he's a muggle but this other good witch is gonna make it seem like he's using magic and it's gonna look like an assassination attempt on grindelwald doesn't he hate muggles he does yeah that's his whole <laughs> thing his supporters do why fuel that fire i don't know okay oh and also jacob wants queenie back but she's like on the dark side now oh yeah why is that again because right okay and so what's going on with queenie's sister uh tina she was a big part of the last two movies wasn't she yeah yeah super important character but she's busy so she's only gonna be in like one scene she's busy yeah she got a big promotion so she's got <laughs> some important stuff to do more important than saving the world and her That's sister who's with the most dangerous wizard there is yes Oh, okay, and what about that Credence guy? Oh, well, he's Dumbledore's nephew, and he's dying, and he's sad, and he's in this movie, because he was in the other two. That is a good <laughs> reason to include him, sure. Also, at a certain point, Newt's brother is going to be put in this prison with these little crab creatures, and Newt's going to have to save him. How does he manage that? By doing this. Oh, doing this is tight. Yeah, so he's going <laughs> to do that for quite some time and save the day. Hey, can I ask you something? Of course. What the
is going on? Exactly. Right. So now that a bunch <laughs> of stuff has happened, it's time for the wizard elections. Oh, it is. Okay, great. And since it's such a tight race, they decide to go with the ancient tradition of a magical baby deer kneeling in front of someone who's pure of heart. Ah, but it's Grindelwald's zombie deer. It is, and so then it kneels in front of Grindelwald and the crowd goes wild and vote for him. Is there no way for them to verify that this baby deer hasn't been compromised? There's not. <laughs> no, so everybody votes for Grindelwald. Dang. Yeah, so right away he declares <laughs> war on the muggles and starts Dang. torturing Jacob in front of everyone because of that assassination attempt. Wait, do these people think that Jacob is a muggle or that he tried to assassinate Grindelwald using magic? It seems like it can't be both. Hey, shut up. So then the good guys are like, actually, that baby deer is dead and we have, it has a twin and we have it and this one will kneel in front of the real person who is pure of heart. Everybody just trusts that they are telling the truth? They do, yeah, because the zombie deer kind of just re-dies immediately. Oh, great. <laughs> so then you know who this creature kneels in front of? You know who's pure of heart? I mean, if I had to guess, I'd say Jacob, right? Because then Grindelwald and all his followers would be confronted with the idea that a muggle can also be pure-hearted. And also, I think Dumbledore was maybe hinting at this, right? Isn't that why he brought him on the team? Because he's a good guy. Oh, yeah, that would have been pretty good, I guess. I have a kneeling <laughs> in front of Dumbledore. What's the logic there? People like Dumbledore. Oh, that is true. A lot of brand recognition on the name Dumbledore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Dumbledore becomes this lead wizard or whatever. Well, actually, he's like, no, thank you. I don't want it. So then the baby deer kneels in front of this other candidate, Santo. So then she gets elected. Oh, is that a good thing? I guess. I mean, we're not really going to explain who she is or what yeah. her deal is. Well, I'm sure she'll be fine. Yeah, maybe. So then Grindelwald is going to attack Credence and Dumbledore's got to stop him. Oh, it's going to be hard for him to do that with that whole blood pact thing. Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, because Dumbledore stepped in, that breaks the blood pact because of fate, and now they can fight again. Why does that break the blood pact? Magic. How does that make sense, though? <laughs> it's magic. Okay. So then they have just the most desaturated fight. Very exciting. Yeah, but they don't really want to kill each other because they have this very deep, very easy to edit out for China love for each other. Very <laughs> romantic, except for in the Chinese market. And so then Grindelwald kind of retreats oh. and jumps off a wall. Where does he go? Into the sequel, if this makes money. Got it. Well, it better make money, or I don't know how I'm going to manage to buy Canada. It doesn't seem like a realistic goal, sir. I want that poutine. All right, so then we wrap things up, and Jacob and Queenie get married. Oh, is she just all forgiven for having helped Grindelwald almost rise to power? Yeah, she's all good. A very quick redemption. So what do you think? <laughs> oh, it sounds like a great movie. I do think we're going to have to play it safe and recast Johnny Depp, though, just because, you know, there's a bunch of stories out there. Just play it safe. No problem. Maybe we get Mads Mikkelsen to play Grindelwald. Yeah, I mean, that sounds great. How do we explain the sudden change in appearance between the movies, though? We just don't. All right, I mean, that feels a little weird, but at least this way we're sure we're not associated with any potentially controversial actors. We'll be in the clear. <laughs> yeah. Told you. Hi, everybody. Ryan here. Thanks for watching that pitch meeting. I hope you liked it. it See, that happened, like, yesterday, didn't it? Like, how, how fast does he make these? Very enjoyable. Very fun. And I also didn't think about how it's like, wait, do these people think he's a muggle or do these people think he <laughs> attacked Grindelwald? That's good. That's good questioning. Also, I was under the impression that Jacob's wand didn't work and that she was doing it for him. I just like, I thought it was really weird. Man, I should pay more attention. Leave a like, subscribe, let me know what you think about this video. Uh, check out the movie review, as I said. I got other pitch meeting reactions. And I'll see you next time.